What's up guys, Bobby here from SlickText, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a mobile coupon. Ready, let's go. All right, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page as far as what a mobile coupon is, let me show you a quick example here. So in the text message, there's a link. When you tap on that link, it opens up a mobile responsive web page on your mobile browser that is the mobile coupon, okay? And what you can see here is everything that I've customized, we're gonna create this exact mobile coupon in this tutorial. Okay, that's what a mobile coupon is. You can go through the redemption process. We'll get to that in just a moment. This coupon feature allows you to track redemptions of views, clicks, and any actions they take on the coupon. This helps our users track redemption for their offers and calculate return on investment. This coupon also helps prevent abuse. Using our enhanced link tracking feature, we know which subscriber redeemed that coupon, therefore not making it redeemable again. All right, we'll get into a little bit of that here today. All right, let's go to the dashboard. So on the dashboard, we're gonna head over to the Marketing Tools tab. On the Marketing Tools tab, we're gonna go over to Mobile Coupons. You may already be here. And inside our Mobile Coupon Creation page here, you may see some coupons that I've already created. Let's go ahead and create a brand new coupon now. Tap the green button to create a new coupon. In the settings section here, we're gonna fill in some content. Now remember, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate the coupon that I showed you guys a moment ago. All right, I'm gonna do an auto reply coupon, but of course you can create these coupons to be sent in, a, in an actual campaign. This one will be used as an incentive for people to join my text marketing list. So just give it a, a coupon name. All right, then we're gonna get down to the redemption styles, okay? Now in that coupon I showed you, it had a redemption of one per person. So yes, can be redeemed only once ever. And the expiration was not a definitive date and time, but it was actually dynamic. So what I did there was I put in eight days, okay? So if you type in an eight here, it's gonna make the coupon expire eight days after they receive it. If you go ahead and select a date and time, it's going to expire exactly on that date and time from when you create it, okay? Or on that date, all right? So it's going to expire exactly on that date and time, okay? And it can only be redeemed once. Okay, there's so many different redemption styles. I'm gonna create a second video to kind of go over all those. We also want to give people the ability to vote. That is an exclusive feature here at Slip Text. I don't know anybody else that has that where you can actually get real feedback on your offers. Then we're gonna select a colorway. You can punch in your hex color code here. I'm gonna go ahead and just eyeball this one. And of course, if you guys are really advanced, maybe you want to provide a Facebook pixel, uh, that'll allow you to retarget your customers who view your coupon. Uh, this retargeting happens on Facebook, of course, and is completely separate than Slick Text. So now that we have our settings complete, let's go down to the content. And in the example that I showed you, I, it was for Slick Burger Joint. We're gonna browse for an image. There's our image. So the offer was for one free appetizer. So we'll fill in our offer. And then our offer description is the content right below our title there. So we'll just say redeem now on the redemption button. For the vote up and vote down button, we'll say uh, love it and then no thanks. And then any fine print that you guys wanna add here, uh, you can go ahead and do so. All right, so there's our content. Now we're gonna go down to the helper links. All right, Slick Text has this amazing ability here for you to add these customized social buttons. I recommend that you only put four uh, on there. So pick your top four, because five will actually shift it down to the bottom. You'll see that here in a moment. So pick your top four. Uh, this will allow people to tap to open their, their Maps app, tap to call you. It'll also allow them to tap to go to your Facebook, Instagram, or simply go to your website. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn on a couple of these, and you'll notice if I hit the fifth one, it actually pushes it down to a different line. Uh, a little bit wider phones, you, you might not have that issue, right? So now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pop in our information, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pop in the, uh, the number for slick text, and we'll go ahead and do slicktext.com. And I'm gonna roll with those four for right now. Okay, let's go down to the redemption screen, right? The most important part of the coupon is redeeming it. So the redemption screen is going to allow you to create whatever redemption style that's gonna work best for your POS system. Um, you guys can do a QR code, a picture, a barcode. You can do a simple code. You can also do unique codes if you're e-commerce and for some reason you wanna use this, or maybe you have the ability to do unique codes at your brick and mortar. You can do that. You load in your unique codes and then every person who opens this coupon gets their own unique code. Let's keep it basic though. 
So the standard redemption uh, is simply text. We're going to do a barcode, and there's five, uh, the five most popular styles here for barcodes in the nation uh, are going to be presented here. Okay, we're going to do QR code. And we're simply going to say uh, show or scan at checkout, right? And uh, it's going to be QR style. Now the redemption code, all right? So let's do HJU78. All right, you notice that as you punch in your redemption code, our system customizes the QR code that your system might scan. So let's just go ahead and, and pick that. Now what about a timer on the screen, right? Maybe you want to give them a certain amount of time or maybe no time. We're going to give them about 10 minutes on the screen to redeem this coupon. So we're going to put a 10 here. And as soon as I click out of there, when they click redeem and confirm yes, uh, they will have a 10 minute countdown to show you that screen and redeem the offer. All right, so let's go ahead and create this coupon. And now that we have this coupon created, let's go ahead and send it over to our phone. All right, and there's the message there. Okay, that last one is the one that I just received. So I'll tap on that link to the coupon. And there it is. There's my beautiful mobile coupon. Now, once we want to redeem it, we tap on this link. It says, whoa, are you sure you want to redeem it? You only have a certain amount of time. I can cancel it. I can vote up. I can, you know, tap to call if I wanted to. I could go to your website, all that stuff. So let's redeem it. All right, on the next screen, I only have 10 minutes to show you this screen, and then we'll complete our redemption and notice that it's date and time stamped. Now that you have your mobile coupon created, it's just a link, okay? Anywhere in the platform that you want to use a mobile coupon, you will notice a little insert button. Okay, so let's go over to the auto reply for our text word and go into the settings. And on the auto reply page here, we can actually go ahead and insert a mobile coupon. So now that we have mobile coupons created, we can tap the insert button and insert mobile coupon. Okay, and here's the one that I just created. We'll insert that link. Now the last part here is what about analytics? How do I know, like what are all the, the clicks, the redemptions, all that stuff? Show me that. So inside the dashboard over on the home screen, you can go into the view analytics page. So here's some data from a mobile coupon. I have the date, date range selected for the past couple of years. And this is more of a demo coupon, but it's the same thing, all right? So we can see that there's been 4,000 unique views. That means that the device that clicked the link was brand new, never saw the coupon before. There's 5,464 total views, meaning that somebody could click the link and refresh it multiple times. Out of those unique numbers, you have 480 redemptions. And of course, down here, you can see all the other actions that somebody has taken. All right, now you can also click the options button here and view the coupon, text it, or download the coupon data for a date range or all time. And that's how you create a mobile coupon here with us at Slick Text. Should you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us 1-800-688-6290 or email us info at slicktext.com. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you in the next one.